Okay, I'm working in Busan National University. So Papo means the PNU Busan Busan National University Dental School Occlusal Plain. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> so I will show the, the, the application method method today. So uh, this is very simple device to detect the occlusal plane without adjusting occlusal limb or other uh, instrument. And then this is the pop stick, pop stick. And this one is the pop arm. So this pop arm indicate the campus line. This pop stick indicate the interpopular line. Okay, very simple. And then this stick, small vertical stick, indicate the midline of the pace. Okay, so you can connect these arms to the stick very simply. It's similar with log, Lego, Lego, reg, Lego, like this. Okay, so you can adjust the width, the width, and then the direction, and then. Um, adjusting this pop arm. So when you when you take impression, we, there's a several method to application of the pop bow. But uh, at the first time, at the first time when you when you take take impression, final impression, you can attach this pop bow system to the tray handle. You know, so the, this this pop stick indicate the interpopular line, and then you trim. You trim, you can trim the Jimson model parallel with this pop stick. And then this base indicate the occlusal plane, okay? This show the campus line. And then pop arms can connect with this, uh, these pop sticks very simply. And then I, I will show you these cases, it's better to explain. So my resident made the individual toy like this. It's like the bird or chicken. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's strange tray. So uh, before developing this device, I always uh, annoy uh, this uh, this tray shapes. But nowadays, I'm 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 accept. Yes, no problem. There's no problem. Anyway, after after taking pressure, the tray handle was not following the the occlusal plane like this. So you have to you have to. Uh, know the role of the tray handle. Tray handle indicate the occlusal plane. When you when you uh, insert this tray, this tray handle have to parallel with the interpopular line. And when you see the lateral side, the, the the handle have to follow parallel with the campus line. This is best, but uh, oral hygienists don't have enough time to position proper uh, posi uh, inter inter oral position, right? So, after taking final impression and then apply the adhesive, adhesive, silicone adhesive, and then and then apply the bite silicone material, and then put this pop bow system like this, and then fix fix with the silicone material and this pop bow. The 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 pop bow have the power with the interpopular line, and then this is very important. Adjusting the balance balance between the left and right side. You have to stand and, and 12 o'clock and then adjust the balance between left and right side. It's very, very important. And then hold pop stick pomni and then rotate the, this arm parallel with the campus line. Okay? And then you can get those kind of pictures. So uh, after taking like this and then send the uh, deliver to the dental technician, dental, dental, dental lab, and then dental lab making the beading and boxing, and then pouring the gypsum, following the pop bowl. When, when, when the dental technician trimming the gypsum model, the trim is parallel with the pop bowl's plane. Okay, come after remover this tray, this base of the Jimson plane indicate the occlusal plane directory. After then, occlusal limb can make parallel with this base, base of Jimson. 
you know, the part with this uh, ocrosaline plane and then base of gymsums. Like this. So it's very, uh, very easy method to uh, get a very good, very good ocrosaline. So after, after uh, making, using these purple systems, you can seed the very even contact, even contact occlusion after uh, deli uh, after delivered the wax stream in the oral cavity, and then you you can adjust the vertical dimension at the first time, you know. Without without adjust another plane, you o you always always melting or adding vertically, not adjusting the the the, the incline of the occlusion. Okay, after biting, uh, bite, after, after insert the biting material and then, and then mark the middle line and then canine line. Okay. You can use in the uh, partially dentured patient. So when you, when you, after making the occlusal limb, without adjusting occlusal limb, you can detect the occlusal plane like this, a mid line occlusal plane. So the occlusal limb uh, with, with the uh, purple systems can indicate that the exact uh, occlusal plane, very simply. So I will show you Ruby instead of my slide. I'm sorry, wait a minute. Oh. This is anatomical indicators. First of all, you have to mark the middle line of the pace, like this. And then between the, the rim, um, uh, how can I say? <laughs> Yes, anyway, <laughs> position this one and then this one. This indicates the middle line of the pace. This is Allard. Allard. This campus line. Uh, in, in this box of the uh, Papo systems, uh, the sticker includes. includes. So you, you can use. Or, or you can train, you can train your hygienist like this. So this video, you, uh, you, can, you can search this video in YouTube after you searching with the pop bowl system. And then every, every video in, uh, uh, put in the uh, YouTube, so you can, you can find it very easily. This mark is for balance between right and left side. The green sticker indicate, indicate the balance of the left and, left and right side. Why I left? <laughs> <laughs> when you bite taking, taking the bite, after injection of the bite silicone material like this. This purple system can transfer, can transfer to the digital method. So uh, it's very difficult to explain. Anyway, to, to transfer to digital, you have to expose the anterior teeth for merging of the upper jaws, upper model. You know, the anterior teeth is the, uh, Simple, simple reference, simple reference for merging together. This purple bite and then upper model. So I will show you later. And then position the purple system like this. You have to adjust. You have to adjust the, the, the parallel. 
symmetry of between left and right side. So you have to adjust the, the pop, pop, pop sticks. You have to match the distance from here and from here. And then additional silicon material have to add it to pick pomni. After, after hardening this, the silicon material and then grip this stick pomni and then rotate this arm with, parallel with the, the campus line. So according to patient, the campus line was not matched together. So left side, lower, and right side, upper. So you have to follow which one? Lower one, based on the previous research, okay? I, uh, we made the, the, the dedicate plastic tray. So it's very simple, simply attach these purple sticks, purple sticks like this. So after position proper, proper uh, location, and then you have to apply the glue or uh, any adhesive materials, not to move. And then adjust the, the balance between left and right side. Then hold this stick and then rotate this arm parallel with the campus line. Okay? When you use the dedicate tray, you can use the pop plate. Pop plate. This is for indicate the anterior, anterior occlusal plane. So when 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 the patient is missing, miss, missed the anterior kiss. So you can use this plate simply, and then, but this is essential procedure. The adjust the left and right side balance with this plate curvature. It's very important, and then you have to mark the middle line. In this plate. So after remove this tray and then pour the gymsum following this line, okay? If you use metal tray, after applying the adhesive and then bite, silicon material can be uh, applied in, in this handle, and then position the pop pop bow system to the this handle very simply, okay? Anyway, the occlusal plane is following the upper jaw, upper jaw, because the lower jaw always move. Yeah, but upper jaw, so when you, when you uh, take impression, you can indicate the uh, occlusal plane with this, uh, using this purple systems, very simply. And then, you can pull the gymsum stone like this. So parallel with this base, parallel with the pop stick. You know? And then after remove this tray, you can, you can see it, the occlusive plane automatically. Okay? If you have internal scanner, you, you, you are not necessary to, to send your model to the dental lab. So after taking impression, upper, upper jaw and lower jaw, and then you take impression this bite. So first of all, an up, upper, upper internal scan, lower internal scan, and then you take the bite like this. And then from the, from the anterior teeth, you can scan this purple reference point. You can see the reference point. The not necessary to perfect the scan. Only you, 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 you can scan this part, this part, and then this wing part. That's all. And then you, you, you have to send this, this STL file, STL file to the dental lab. 
And then in Dental Lab, opened this pile and then merged the, 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 the design of piles, design piles of this one. Anyway, this reference point is important too when you take impression with intro scanner. I know that the America is very wide nation, so so it's very difficult to deliver uh, this this model or impressions uh, every time. So uh, anyway, I I I I also I also have the same same thought. So we have to reduce the visiting time and then delivery time between dental clinic, clinic and then dental lab. So, so I, I will show you the, the digital procedure. So after scan the upper jaws and lower jaw and bite taking, and then you can add additional scan data. Uh, this is the shape of three shapes, but uh, another, in another uh, software, you can, you can add one more uh, scan data, or you can make the new patient and then you scan one more time. Scan like this. So first of all, you have to scan the anterior teeth because this anterior teeth is reference for merging of the anterior model, you know? And then you scan like this. Not necessary to scan perfect image of this purple couple systems. You only scan. You only scan this reference point, this re reference, this point, and then this wing. And we can merge together. If you don't have, if you don't have, if you, you don't have any uh, intro scanner, uh, you you can uh, send the, the model or and the byte byte taking uh, byte taking to the dental lab, and then in the dental lab, uh, they, they can use the model scanner for scan these this PAPO systems, like this. And then open this byte in the software, this upper model scan pile, and then open the PAPO system byte pile and they match together. So to attach the upper model and the bite, bite you have to uh, scan the anterior teeth. So you can match the same position to the model and, and then bite, bite. Click here like this, and then attach it automatically. And then op open the purple library. Library is the design pile. I, I will give this design pile uh, anywhere, if, if they want. So uh, this design pile can store uh, using the USB store uh, USB card, and then click here. The point three point match together like this, and then open the ARM library and then attach like this. So you can mount, mount, mount like this without delivering the model. If you have intro scanner, it's very e simple, simple method. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a demonstration. CO2. <laughs> or is there any candidate? <laughs> いこ通ったらとんになよ。セット。いこ 
is there any candidate? Uh, anyone, anyone come here? <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you. Ah. Okay, I will show, show this patient, okay? <laughs> so, uh, although this patient have the old teeth, you know, but uh, let's imagine this patient don't have any tooth, or it remained only anterior teeth. So first of all, you have to mark the middle line of face. So first of all, Mianeo. Okay? And then there is an in interpopular line and the mid line. And at the next, we have to mark the campus line. Allah is here. Okay, Allah and Tragus. If you have many experience, it's not necessary to mark this stick, sticker in, in the pace. But now, I'm, I, because I, I want to show, show you, so I mark this campus line perfectly. Okay. Oh, that I mean, I was. Nowadays, in my clinic, oral hygienist did this one. So after marking everything, and then call me. And then I, I or oral hygienist uh, themselves can do that. Yes, it's, it's, not, it's not a difficult procedure. And this is compass line, OK? Lastly, we have to mark the poor head about one millimeter over. Oh. Okay, like this, okay? So I will, I will attach this pop system to this patient. This is a to tool to extend the midline indicator in case of this, this big nose patient, okay? <laughs> And then, wait a minute. Okay, let's imagine this patient have the anterior teeth, or this patient is wearing the occlusal limb now. Okay? So, and open. Uh, bite. If we use the digital method, you don't, you cannot have, you don't have, you don't cover the anterior teeth of upper, upper tooth. So, lower portion, and then position like this. After position, you have to check the balance between left and right side. Oh, sorry. Okay, like this. Add some more. Oh. Um. Okay. You have to wait for for hardening of this silicon material. After hardening, you have to grip this stick 
palm knee and then rotate this pop arm. Okay. Okay, that's all. And then, if you deliver this this uh, pop pose systems, uh, because of the damage of outside, the the pop arm can rotate. So at that time, you have you can mark with the pen this side. Do you understand? Yes. After mark this side with the pen. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, this mark can indicate the proper lo lo location after detach this pop arm. Okay, open the mouse. Okay, this is pinch it. Right. So if this patient have a dentural patient, the bite can write this. Okay? So without adjusted occlusal limb, you can detect occlusal plane. I know this adjusting occlusal limb is bur bur burden to you. Yeah. So without adjusting this occlusal limb, you can take pick the occlusal plane directory. Okay, that's all. This is Papo system, okay? Thank you. Box. Ah, come on, Okay, JB Park is poor substitute of the occlusal limb. So, uh, in my case, in the morning, I take impression and then, and t the same day, at the same day, I deliver the denture. Yes, in my clinic, using this JB pork. So it's very uh, convenient to use. So uh, I will show, show you some, uh, so show you uh, the method how to apply using this mannequin after my lectures, okay? There is no edentural patient. Yeah. Do you, are you edentural patient? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, JB pork means the junctional bite pork. It's not jungbo pork. <laughs> My name is jungbo, but it's not jungbo pork. It's the meaning of junctional bite, bite pork. So this bite pork looks like very simple, but we can uh, take every information about the edentulous patient, especially in case of uh, uh, in total Full implant restoration cases, you can, you can very easily take the jaw relationships. And then uh, it's very useful to make a temporary crowns or customized abutment. So uh, I, I will explain why uh, it is uh, convenient in the implant cases at, uh, and at the last, in the last. So JB pork can combine with the pop systems. So I will show you next. Okay, let's see the, the conventional denture procedure. You know? So this, when you meet this, this kind of uh, patient, you always uh, think about the final impression with the silicone material, and then definitely you have to make occlusal wax ring to get the jaw relationship. But because of that, the patient have to visit one more time. And then you have to send the pinal model to the dental lab to make a cruiser wax ring, right? So it's very, very burden, annoying. So I have to reduce these this kind of steps. So after making the, the individual tray based on the preliminary impression, alginate impression, and then you, you got this tray and then check the inner, inner surface. So uh, if, if, if the tray have the more uh, overextended borders, definitely the, the, the impression was not collect. Anyway, you have to check the, the border length and then inner surface, and then border molding with the modern compound or silicone material, and then take impression like this, and then building and boxing proce will proceed. It. Are you, okay, you, you, in your clinics, in this step is finished, right? And then send to the dental, tech, dental lab, and then dental technician have to make occlusal limb like this, based on the the average meaning average value. Based on the reference point, little molar pad, inter inter incisive foramen area, 
and then the, the depth of vestibule, those kind of things needed to uh, make the proper occlusal wax limb. But is it light? Is it correct? No. I'm, I'm always adjust this occlusal wax limb after, getting, after receiving this occlusal limb from the dental lab. And then adjust the occlusal wax limb. Through o o adjusting occlusal wax limb, we can get vertical dimension and then central relation and then the location of the anterior teeth and then bite material uh, engage it like this. And let's end it one more time. So at that time, we have to measure the vertical dimension, and then we have to adjust according to the occlusal plane like this. Did you do that? Do you do that? Do you do that? Really? Wow. Yes. Definitely, you don't have enough numbers of patients. <laughs> so in my case, I have, I have to uh, treat about 30 patients in a day. So I only, I only work in my clinic uh, two days in a week, but uh, because uh, I, I, I have very short treating time, clinic time, so because of that, I, I, have, I have been treating uh, so many patients in my clinics. So I don't have enough time. I want to reduce the times, and then I, I, want, I, want, I want to deliver this denture immediately, as soon as possible. Because this patient don't have teeth now. So anyway, and we have to memory, memory the role of the occlusal wax limb. So as you know, as, as, I, as I explained to you in the previous uh, lectures, this occlusal limb have to uh, include many information. First, the vertical dimension. This is the sequence, OK? Sequence to detect the occlusal information. The first one is vertical dimension. Second thing is center relation. No? Third thing is midline. And then the location of the anterior teeth, upper jaw. Upper jaw anterior teeth location is very important to detect in these steps. No? And next, occlusal plane. And then we can uh, get the additional information. So, we didn't think about, we didn't, we didn't think about uh, another method. Why we use this method for 100 years? So I don't know the weather, I don't know exact, exactly the weather of the Air, Air California. Anyway, the, in the hot weather, definitely this wax will be melt, melt, you know, right? No? <laughs> so Korea has this terrible summer summer weather. So uh, whenever I, I send my, uh, this occlusal wax ring to the, another dental lab, I, 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 I got the calling from the dental labs. So you are, you are, you are biting melt, melt <laughs> perfectly. And so, so they, they wanted to pack with ice pack. <laughs> Is it fish? Is it meat? <laughs> anyway. So uh, this is the additional information in the occlusal wax limb. What, number one is the middle line. Number two is the upper lip when the patient smile, you know? And then third one is lower lip when the patient smile. And then four is the alarine. Alarine is, is indicate the canine location, you know? And then five is the angulus oris, angulus oris position. So those kind of things can uh, give uh, to the dental technician. So if you if you give if you give th uh, these informations, the dental technician will be happy because they know everything without oral patient scanner, uh, patient scanner, without patient scanner. And then in school, we have taught about the uses of pacebook transfer. So. Whenever I, 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 t I teach uh, this method, I'm, I'm so sorry to the, my, my student. It's not, <laughs> anyway. So, and then we can get the wax denture like this, okay? Before, before uh, making pinal denture, we always, we have to check. We have to check this wax denture to adjust the support of lip and then shapes when the patient smile and then we have to get perform, uh, confirm from the 
come from from the patient. It's essential. And then when she smile, although she's, she's lip is canting like this, but these two teeth have to follow the interpopular line and the campus line. You know, you have to check about this. And then you have to do additional adjustment of occlusion in this stage. And then plasking, and then checking the, the inner surface, and then uh, adjust the occlusion one more time, and then finishing the denture. Anyway, in Korea, to get the government insurance, the patient have to visit five times to make poor dentures. So I, I know the, the insurance system is different uh, with our country, but uh, our country is almost free if the patient visit five days, five times. So I know, uh, I, I want to skip one step, but in that case, I cannot get insurance from the government. Uh, so it's very dilemma. So, but I know the America has the different situation, right? So you, you, can, you can skip the procedure very easily. The final dentures, and then we, we can adjust the occlusion one more time with the bilateral balanced occlusion. So I want to emphasize the exact method how we can make the pool denture. But in clinical situation, we want to reduce the patient visiting steps. Yes, it's, 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 it's natural things, I think so. so. So I will introduce about the JB pork instead of occlusal waxerin. So, but uh, this JB pork can, can, use, can use in the conventional denture as well as digital denture. But this system is uh, more benefit, more ben have the more benefit in the digital denture well, without any model without any delivery, yes. And then and tra transfer the, the model to the dental technique, the te technician. Okay, memorize one more time. Occlusal is lower, have the six kind of things, vertical dimension, central relation. This sequence is very important. Middle line, and then location of the incisor teeth, and the occlusal plane. If you have any ability, you can uh, mark the additional information in the occlusal limb. Okay, JB pork composed of uh, five components. Where is JB pork? Okay. It is look like very simple, but I changed the design about seven times. So I have been I I have used this this JB pork for three years uh, printing in my clinic. But uh, it's very difficult to connect each component uh, by the 3D printing, so I made the mold, and then I, I, I make, I'm, I'm, I'm making this one massively. No? So anyway, this is upper plate. This is upper plate. Look together. This is upper plate. This is lower plate. You know? This is not tray for impression. You have to take impression with another method, tray or intro scanner, other thing, okay? And then this one is for a substituted method of the occlusal wax ring. So upper plate and lower plate. And then this JB fork uh, have the six anterior teeth, upper anterior teeth. So the patient and doctor can discuss directly together when, when, when the the, the taking, when taking, when take the jaw relationships. So this upper, the concave part is the upper part, you know? So, and then you insert this six teeth like this, okay? So these six teeth have the many functions. First thing is to indicate the six, anterior six teeth, and second, the reference for merging with the, another model or patient scanner or other things. Everything can merge with these six teeth. But according to patient, the, the size of teeth will be different, right? So these teeth only indicate the location of the six teeth and they indicate the line of inside, inside the line, not the size. 
So after taking the location of incisor teeth and then the line, incisor line, and then you can change. You can change the, the another teeth according to this line. Okay. So this is lower plate, and then this is the screw pin for getting getting the for getting the vertical dimension and then uh, central relation position. And it's similar with the Godigas tracer. And then you can enter this pin like this. You can connect this pin like this. So rotating this pin, you can adjust, you can, you can, you can change the, the, the height of the, this pin, okay? So last one, th this is handle for pop ball systems. If you don't want to uh, make the digital denture, you have to take, you have to uh, get the, the information of the uh, occlusal plane, you know? So after biting, and then you remove these six teeth, and then you can insert this, this handle like this, okay? And then you put, put the pop bow, where is pop bow, yeah. This is printed JB pork. I, I, have, been, I, 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 I have used uh, several years, for several years using the, the 3D printed JB pork. So, and then I changed the um, designs many times. Why I wrap? Is, it, is there a problem? <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, this is upper plate, upper plate, and this lower plate. This is six entities, and the handle for pop ball systems, and this is pin for adjust the vertical dimension and C, CR. Yeah, you you have to prepare the uh, body 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 type silicone material, and then. Uh, right or regular body silicon material, and then in your in your clinic definitely uh, those kind of thing is uh, you have those kind of thing, and then adhesive for silicon material, and then right or regular body silicon material, and then the bite silicon material, and prepared like this. This patient have the severe periodontitis like this, so. Uh, her age is about 50, so he's a saleswoman, so he need, she, need, she needed the teeth as soon as possible after extraction of the upper teeth. So uh, he visited our, our office uh, 9.30 at that time. So I extract every teeth directly because these teeth have the severe mobility. So we cannot get uh, vertical dimension information from remaining the teeth, you know? Uh, when, when the patient bite, the anterior teeth are labial bursted, the mobility, have the mobility. So we cannot detect the proper vertical dimension. So don't worry about that. Anyway, uh, remove, after extraction, the upper teeth, and then he, he, wanna, he, wanna, he wanted to use the, the old uh, remote partial denture in lower, lower jaw. So uh, after waiting, after waiting, the breathing stop, and then and then I scanned the upper jaw with the interval scanner. So in my case, interval scanner is easier than the silicone impression material, so a method. So if you, if you have the, this interval scanner, it's very easy to take impression, uh, this uh, interval scanner. But if you don't have many experience, although you have the interval scanner, uh, first of all, th this is procedure for making temporary denture, you know? So first of all, you take impression with arginate, and then scan the arginate inner surface with interval scanner. So that is the method to reduce the, the deliver, delivery that you are cast to the dental technician. You know? So anyway, I like the uh, scan directory. Anyway, scan the upper tooth and the lower tooth like this. So uh, to get those kind of impression, you need some experience. You exercise, you need practice. You know, so anyway, uh, if you are dental hygienist, scan uh, this oral scan. Do you have to uh, train? You have to train them. So anyway, retraction 
and after retraction one point the the hand do, ha, have to have not to move stop okay and then scan and then another part can be retract and then scan attach it scan attach it's very important so uh, if if uh, if the assistant move their hand definitely you can you can scan the double layer or three layer so it's not that not give you the correct correct uh, intro scan data so if you have any pride you had a better take impression with the arginate first or silicon materials and then scan very simply with the intro scanner so anyway anyway if you have intro scanner your clinic will be reduced any many procedure many steps yeah so anyway I scanned upper and lower jaw and then I uh, applied applied the maxillary plate this patient so after finishing the the impression final impression and then I I I take I I took I took the jaw relationship using the JB pork and then apply the adhesive in the inner surface of uh, upper plate like this because we have to apply the silicon material in this part uh -huh. and then connect the six anterior teeth like this and then apply the body it's not necessary to cover everything because we can detect some area that can merge together merge together merge with the upper scan data you know it's not impression it's it's like the take a bite yeah, so you you can apply this body in the anterior part or lit area i'll be lit area understand and then put the inner oral cavity and then it, at that time the patient are looking the mirror together and then i position the six teeth and then up, i i put the uh, upper plate to the oral cavity and then I discussed with the position with the patient. Hey, woman, <laughs> is it right position? Are you okay? Are you satisfied? So at that time, the patient, I, I want to do the, the uh, inside of the oral cavity, or I, I want more lip support, and I can discuss with together. And then, and then I position this and six anterior teeth uh, appearance about one to two millimeter from the below, uh, lower lower border of the upper limb, you know? So then I discuss, and then she confirmed about the position. And then after, after then, every procedure is due to her, you know? Duty, duty of, to her. Because she decided already. I'm, I'm following her choice, you know? So especially the, in case of older, elder people, elder person, and the person, uh, they always uh, come with their uh, daughter or their son. And I always call their, their, their person the protector and then, and then discuss together. And then, because the old elder people cannot uh, say their opinion properly. So at that time, I discuss with the, the, uh, her or his son or daughters. So anyway, this, this confirmation steps is essential to proceed to the JB pork, okay? And then, and then I insert, I apply the right or regular body of silicon because, because I want to detect, I want to detect the merging point. Luckily, this patient have the socket, extraction socket, like this, so it's very, Good random mark to merging with the upper jaws and then this JB pork, very simply, you know. I, I will show the procedure at the next slide, ne next procedure. Anyway, but nowadays I have very good, uh, I, have, I, I, have, I have had very good talent in position this JB pork because I, I, ha I have many experience about this. So. Uh, I, I, I always use, use, use the, the one step impression taking. So body mixing, applying, and then directory uh, put the silicone material and then together, uh, put it together. Yes, very simple. But at the first time you have to practice, you know? Yes, very, 
this step is very important. So this is upper impression. So you have to merge together. This point, similar, same with this point. This point, same with this point. Okay, this is negative impression, impression surface is the positive surface. So we have to merge together. But this step is, will be pro proceed, proceeded by the dental technician, don't worry. <laughs> and then you can position the mandible JB pork plate. It's very simple. So you can adjust the, the, the remain the teeth area. No? You, you can cut this part because this patient have the anterior teeth in lower jaw. So, yeah, so uh, if, if, if the patient have the, uh, some tooth on the upper jaw, you can reduce the upper jaw's, upper jaw's remain the teeth area. Anyway, you can adjust, okay? But you have to remain the enough surface to merge together. That is your, your choice. So th this patient have the anterior teeth like this. So I uh, put the, put the uh, JB pork, a uh, roll plate like this, and then adhesive application, and then body application, and then put the, this lower plate in the oral cavity. It's very simple. There is no consideration about uh, the lower jaws. But you know, it's not tray, so the patient can close their mouth after, uh, after delivery of upper and lower JB pork, and then he can, she can bite together. And then we can, we can evaluate the, the patient picture, you know? So anyway, be, uh, this, in, ca in, ca in this case, the patient have the anterior teeth, so there are so many merging points. Do you understand? Yeah. So after a body taking, and then insert the, the silicone right body, and then put one more time. And then I, I removed, I removed the, the, cover, uh, the whole covering silicone material with the knife, very simply. And then I connect this uh, pin, screw pin. And then I, I put the upper jaw and lower jaw plate and then bite together. And then I adjusted the height, adjusting, adjusting or rotating this, this screw pin. Do you understand? Yeah. Oh, where is, okay. A clock, clockwise direction push the screw, a clock, di clock direction down the, the screw pin like this. Okay, a after bite, you have to measure with what kind of method? Freeway space method. Okay, and then you, you can choose the vertical dimension very simply. Or the patient to have, the patient is the Asian. Asian, you can use the, the Willis method very simply because this step is for temporary denture, not pinal denture. Okay? And then this patient a little bit it was a little bit young patient, so she can draw the Godic arch tracing perfectly, you know. So in that case, uh, it is optional, optional procedure. So this is loose lipstick. Yeah, so in Korea, this lipstick only uh, $1 <laughs> in, in the cross, in the cross that being rolled. <laughs> and I, I bought uh, many lipsticks in my clinic, so it's best to detect Godic arch tracing. Anyway, if you don't have lipstick, so you, you have to hire the woman, woman doctors, or, <laughs> or you can use the, the articulate paper. The articulate paper, yeah, lobbing, uh, how can we see? Anyway, anyway sc scrubbing, right? Yes, and then uh, you, you, can, you can detect the Godia tracing very easily. This is a key point. When you, when you decide to drawing Godigat tracing, you have to detach these six teeth web. Why? The, the patient extrude, in, okay? And that time, the lower teeth can touch with uh, this anterior tooth. These tooth can disturb, can be disturbed by, uh, uh, through the movement, okay? So after removing the anterior teeth, and then drawing the Godigat tracing. So 
this is not that uh, impression. So there is no uh, enough retention, retention. So there is no chop, no chop, chop. <laughs> you know, so heavy retention. So uh, first of all, you have to hold the upper plate with two fingers, and lower lower plate have to hold in low, and then two fingers, and then it's very important. You have to reduce your pulse. Your finger pulse is for hold this plate only. You know, your nervous the nervous pulse can impact the drawing, the cordial tracing. Anyway, you have to relax your body at first, okay? And then hold, and then move forward, and then return. Move left, left, right side, return. Right side, return. I, I, I performed about two or three times. And then this point, this point to have to have reproducing. Yes, whenever the patient drawing the Godigas tra tracing, the, every time the patient have to draw the same pattern. It's very important. We we have the the uh, the the end of the each uh, in each movement. Anyway, so we can we can draw like this. So when I see this Godigas tracing, this patient definitely have the problem in TM joint. So if the patient don't have any problem in TM joint, so the the Godiga tracing showed that the, like this, mm -hmm. yes, like a bird's foot, 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 right? <laughs> but this patient showed the the wide range of the Godiga tracing. That means maybe she has uh, some problems in in condyle or TM joint. Anyway, we we can we can check the the point gathering each movement. At this point is the CR point. Okay, some reference recommend that uh, 0 0.2 millimeter anterior part of the, this 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 point, but it's not necessary. I think so. So anyway, punch this this point with the round bar. This punch is for the, this shallow shallow groove is for fixation, fix with the upper and lower plate. The patient bite and this part and then don't move. They don't move. Okay? And then uh, silicone adhesive apply application and then inject the bite material. You know? So that's finish it. So we can get we can get the proper joint relationships. And then anterior teeth location, breathy and central relation, and then we, if we use use the the popo system, we can we can give the the information about the occlusal surface, occlusal plane. But this patient, in this patient, I used the patient scanner. So if you have patient scanner, it's very easy. You you don't need to use the popo systems. But uh, I believe you don't have patient scanner now. So I, I will show you only uh, this case. Okay. So, so this is very simple patient scanner. Anyway, J biting and then inserting the JB pork. At that time, the patient have the 60s already, right? So she can make smile. So this is JB pork, not natural tooth. After putting the JB pork and then smile and then take, take a photo. Like this. This is Jape Pork 60s. You know? So if you take the patient scan, you can get every information about the patient. I'll give the anterior teeth position, vertical dimension, everything give them. And then especially uh, the dental technician can get the patient information totally. So not necessary to use the PAPO systems. Because in software, in the software, we can we can check the middle line, and then if you mark position or or uh, abnormal position this shape fork, you can adjust in this software. We, we you can move these six teeth. You know anyway, these six teeth is the lower of the merging reference, and then this is the campus line. We can detect the directory, and then this we can move 
this campus line to the uh, JB Pork. Anyway, anyway, uh, in, in next procedure is all for the dental lab, you know. So anyway, if you have intra scanner, you can scan upper, lower, and then you can scan this one directly. This JB pork bite can scan the bite directly. And then there is not, not necessary to send any model or silicone material to the dental lab. You can send this information by email. And the next time, temporary dental will be yes, delivered in my office. I will skip the lab, lab, lab procedure. Anyway, in the lab, uh, they, they will open every information in the CAD software, ExoCAD or 3Shape, everything. So this device is for clinical procedure, not, not specific tool for specific CAD software. You, know? it's, you can use everything. Uh, you can use in, in conventional dental procedure. Yeah, I will show you anyway. I skip and then design complete and then make the temporary denture. In Korea, I'm so sorry, in Korea, we can make final denture using 3D printing. Mm -hmm. It's illegal until now. So we have to use uh, this 3D print denture only temporary, for temporary. So, but when I, when I ins, ins deliver this tem temporary denture, I can, I can see the enough retention. Yes, we cannot, we cannot. I, I cannot pull out this denture by my pores, you know. <laughs> so it's strange. Intro scanner use uh, the the many experience in intro scanning make the well fit dentures. Yes. Yeah, so so the, there is no overextension. Yeah, we can we can see the di the vestibule and movable gum and then attach attach gingiver. We can you can detect everything with the color. So, uh, if if the dental technician is well training, th they can they can mark the proper border extension in software. So I like I like these hard dentures, but uh, I, I want to move America. <laughs> so delivered like this. So this in this question I didn't prepare the the uh, next procedure anyway. After using about three months later, and then I took I took a wash impression w using this denture, and then and then proceeded to the evocular milling dentures. Yes, but I didn't prepare. I'm sorry. So if you don't have with a facial scanner, you can attach the popo directory. You know, remove the six teeth, as I told you. After taking every relation and then remove the six teeth and then and then connect this handle for connect popo systems and then adjust the the campus line and then ca campus line into popular line and mid line and then balance of left and right side, okay? And then this part can can detach like this, okay? Yes. If you don't want to use, make the digital denture, you can use conventional denture as well. So this is upper model, lower model, and then uh, take the jaw relation with the JB pork, and then CR, detect, and then uh, you can get those kind of JB pork com combination, and then, and then you, you uh, get the, the, the information about the occlusal plane like this. Okay, and then mount based on the, this popo systems. If we use the, the carbo, carbo articulator or other articulator, the occlusal, uh, the, the base, the bottom of the articulator is pa parallel with the, the occlusal plane, right? Mm -hmm. so, so you can mount like this. And then this, this is the picture remo after removing the JB pork. And then I separate upper and lower plate, you know? Only insert the upper plate, removing the lower plate. 
So this model have the anterior kiss already. And then I, I make the, the body jig like this. And then I arrange the, the six teeth, six teeth in the, in the upper tooth. And then make, the, make those kind of wax denture. Do you understand? Yes. There is another method. Not necessary to make those kind of jig. After, you know, this overjet, uh, this is very difficult to make those kind of things. Anyway. Oh. This is overbite. Can you see this plate and then this 60s? The overbite is about 2.5 millimeter. You know? So after, after mounting this upper plate, and then you can arrange, you can, you can put the lower anterior teeth directly. And then after, after positioning 60s, and then we can, we can detect the, the posterior, posterior reference with the little, little uh, well, my, uh, uh, little more padded, right? <laughs> the, the, the middle, middle, the half of the retromolar pad indicated the, the lower lap, uh, posterior reference of the across the plane. So we, you can, you can uh, put the artificial teeth according to the, the, those reference. Okay? Anyway, after position, and then finish the, the pinal dentures, and then make the pinal denture. Anyway, Although you, you, you use you use conventional denture procedure, but you can reduce one time for uh, occlusal wax rim adjustment. Okay. So in this case, the implant case is very good. Why? Because there is dep there are definite references in this implant location, you know? So very easy to merge together. Yes, if there is, there is no reference, we have to search the irregularity of the reach to merge it together. But uh, in, in implant cases, it's very simple. Look at this case. So after insert implant, and I decided to make the immediate denture, immediate denture, so uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, proceed, proceed, didn't proceed the uh, immediate loading in that case because I, I did the sinus ripped procedure. So after, after impression, the lower, upper and lower jaws, and then uh, taking the bite, jaw relation uh, using the JB pork. It's, and then we mark very easily Click, 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 and automatically the, the model can merge together very precisely. So it's very important to click an uh, unmovable, non-movable point. You know? If you if you click this premium, this premium, this premium will be different. So be careful. Anyway, every reference will be located located on the crystal ditch. So upper and lower impression and then JB pork, we can put, we can get the position of, of anterior teeth directly. So look at this. This patient lost their, uh, his tooth very long time ago. Because of that, he had, he had severe bone nose. If we don't, if we, we, uh, I, I didn't use, I didn't use JB pork, definitely dental technician make the occlusal limb inside of the, inside, inside, inside compared with the natural teeth, you know? Mm -hmm. So definitely I, I added many waxes to make the lips of torque. When, when I, when I, when I uh, adjust, when I adjusted, adjusted the occlusal limb, right? But J-Pork is, in, in, in J-Pork uh, can uh, give me the side directory, the viewing directory. So we can adjust this anterior, anterior teeth position with the, with the patient very easily. So, and then <coughs> I separate the upper and lower plate 
and then I positioned the upper row, and then I arranged the, the lower anterior teeth directory. But according to the person, according to the patient, the, the width of the, or the size of, of the anterior teeth will be different. But this patient is proper for them, for her, for, uh, for him, I'm sorry. So uh, I choose the, the same size, uh, the artificial teeth with the, the JV pork anterior teeth. And then I finish it, the uh, range, then. So I'm so happy because I, I didn't use the occlusal wax ring. So these two, you, you, ha you can compare between the remainder uh, alveolar leach and then anterior teeth. They're very big gap. So dental technicians don't know about that. So dental technicians make the only very short, very inside, very inside position the occlusal wax limb. So we need, we need many, we, uh, we may need many times to adjust this occlusal wax limb. This patient have three, class three tendency. So I made the edge to edge bite position like this. So I didn't any adjustment after taking the uh, jaw relation with the JV fork. But the rib support is proper. Although he has the three skeletal crest three tendency, but I made the edge to edge bite. I, I, I have the reduction more thing and then bite together. <laughs> okay. After adjust the occlusion and then bite one more time and then finish. So this is very important procedure. This patient doesn't have, didn't have any irregularity in the alveolar leach. No? But in that case, we have to make the reference point. So very simply. So first of all, you have to, you, 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 you have learned about the dentin bonding system in the morning, right? So anyway, anyway any, any adhesive is possible. Anyway, adhesive added slightly in this point. So let's continue to seeing the, this video. This is a real time video. So application in some area where you want to make the reference point. Without adhesive application, the resin tag uh, this, uh, uh, detached very easily. Yeah, so any curing. The, uh, to be honest, uh, super bond, super bond is best. But we have to wait about five to eight, time, eight minutes to curing, to cure. So I don't like this. I, I like the, the, the dentin bonding system. And odeship, dentin odeship. And then, and then inject the plover resin like this. Three point is best, but uh, I worried about the detach detachment of the some reference, so I made five re references. <clears throat> it that is real time, so it, it's not not burden burden procedure. It's very simple. Yeah. Okay. After after uh, attach the reference and then scan with the internal scanner like this. So if you don't have any pride, so you, ha you had better take impression with arginate or silicone material. But you have to be careful when you take impression with silicone material. The reference point, reference point will be detached. Be careful. You know, so arginate is no problem. So when you make the reference point, you had better make enough number of reference, five or six. So if one, uh, two of them uh, may de detach it, it's no problem. Okay. Real time scanning. Anyway, I can scan like this. Upper, and then I adjust the the, the two layer or three layer the scanned area, and then I erase 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 that part part, and then scan one more time. And then in case of lower, the patient have the residual uh, remained teeth, and then the extraction shortcut. 
So I, 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 didn't, I didn't make the reference, point, reference uh, point, and then I scanned directory like this. There is the remain T, so there is so many reference point for merging. It's very easy. So after scanning the residual leach, oh, so I check and then I erase the some extra data data. And then make and then finish it, the impression, lower impression. This patient have the plebe tissue. Do you know plebe tissue? There is no bone in, uh, below the, the, the gums. So at that time, after applying the <coughs> silicone material, uh, adhesive, and then you have to position the body this this palate area, not not anterior part. Do you understand? Because uh, pushing the silicone material, the, the plebe tissue can change, can be changed, the position. So it, it hesitate, it, it disturbs the, the enough merging together. So this is regular body, and then this is this body. And they positioned to the Mouse, and then at that time the, the patient is showing the mirror. There is no mirror. I'm sorry. Anyway, now now she's looking looking the mirror, and then I adjust the lip support now, and then I show the, the the lip support to the to the patient directly. At that time, I checked the, the horizontal plane with the interpopular line and then middle line. So the patient is satisfied with this position at this time. The, the, same, day, the same day with the final impression, you know? Rip support. And this part uh, position the silicone material. So uh, after you pushing this part, and then you, you can adjust the rip support directly. Okay, and then this patient also have the the uh, remained teeth. So I removed the, the, this part, and then positioned the the lower plate like this, apply the adhesive, and the body, and silicone dielectric, and then put the lower plate. This is upper and this is lower plate completed. And then I adjust the, this pin and then I, I will measure the vertical dimension directly. The patient can bite together, you know? But I can see the, the, the chin tendons, tension. Especially, she also have the three, can, 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 uh, no, no, skeletal uh, three, class three pattern tendency. So I will reduce these these teeth, and then I will make the over denture shape the, the the temporal denture in for lower. So now I'm discussing with this is mirror the patient. I, I can explain the, the situation of the current patient situation, and then I I I got the agreement from the patient. I, I will reduce the height, and then especially this patient over 80, 80 so she can she couldn't uh, make make the uh, Godiak tracing. So at that time, I repeated the, the CR, uh, position of the CR. And then at that time, we are necessary to remove this six, ten, six teeth, right? So it's very simple method by, by manual manipulation method. And then I, I'm reducing the tension. I'm assess, assess, I assess the, the, the tension with the patient directory. And then I turn over the pin and reduce about two millimeters vertical height. 
And then, and then after the biting, like this, she, she has three, uh, class three tendency. So after then, I checked the swallowing and speeching as well. So everything I can check it. So I will, that, that means I will reduce this teeth for your beauty. Yeah. And then she agreed. Yeah. And then I put the bite material between upper and lower plate. Mm. Look at this part. So in my case, I have uh, five interscanner in my clinic. So I, I have been using uh, many kinds of interscanner. So, but uh, I believe that trios, five or four is best to scan edentulous part. So according to the interscanner, the, the, uh, the, the proper application will be different. So anyway, uh, after taking the impression, I'm not necessary to send this silicone material to the dental lab if you have an intro scanner. So after spray the powder to prevent the reflection of bright and then scan directly. You can see the reference point like this here and here. So that point is for, uh, that, 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 that indicator is from the resin tag in the oral cavity. A scan directory. This procedure will be done by the oral hygienist or your assistant. It's a very simple procedure. It's not, you, it's not your duty. OK. After, after finishing the scan of the JB pork, look at this. This is the upper and lower impression of Joe's, uh, uh, scan. And then this is JB pork. So you, you can indicate the same place, red, red, red mark, touch, and the same place, touch. And the same place, touch, 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 touch. It's three point enough. Three point enough. So look at this, and then second, five, automatically merge like this. Can you see that? This this, this data merged together. So anyway, uh, uh, three shape software uh, can give us very convenient tools in merging together. Anyway, after then, you can send this only one pile, this pile to the dental, dental lab by the email. And then, and next time, we ca you, can get, you, can get, you can get the temporary denture. I will show you, I, I want to show you the modified application. There are several modifications. For example, this patient uh, have the upper or every or, or tooth and then lower edentulous patient. So another patient have the lower uh, teeth, teeth remain the teeth and then upper edentulous patient. So anyway, uh, you, can, you can modify the JB, JB fork application according to the patient situation. Yes, it's your idea. Yeah. So anyway, Sorry. After extraction, and then I insert implant immediately. And then I put the uh, upper plate, JB, JB upper plate, with the bite, bite silicone material, not, not body. This is only indication, in, indicate, indicate the, the residual teeth, upper teeth. 
we, we don't necessarily to connect the six T's because he has six T's already, you know? So any, on, you, simply you put this plate with, with uh, the silicone material and then put the lowers very simply and then adjust the, the pin, screw pin, and then CR, yes, take the CR point and then vertical dimension and then, and then put the, the bite silicone material like this. And it's very simple. Not necessary to make a limb. I took about 10 minutes to detect the, the jollation using the JV pork. If the patient have the on, only lower whole tooth, and then she, 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 the patient lost every teeth, every tooth, uh, every teeth in an upper jaw, and then that, that time, it's easier than another case. The first of all, it's not necessary the lower plate. Now the patient have the lower teeth, every teeth, and then you position the upper teeth, upper plate, and properly, and then you measure the vertical dimension with the Lucia jig or resin adding in this part, and then bite. That's all. No? Anyway, uh, in Korea nowadays, I'm 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 spreading this JB pork. Uh, Using the 3D printing, because I I I I got I got the KFD approval last week. Anyway, so at the, and and many dentists changed their method. So I, I did I didn't think about that. Anyway, he ch they changed this JB pork and then they can op apply in me me every case. So I'm surprised. So so you you can I I believe you can do that. So this finishing pictures, and then uh, I, I impression taking with the alginate impression. So this is alginate impression. So this patient have severe bone loss, has severe bone loss. So it's very difficult to direct intraoral scanning. So at that time, I put I take I took impression with alginate and then uh, spray spray with the the particle and then scan directly. You know, and then this is lower, this is JB pork scan. Look at this. This is lower JB pork scan. I click the reference point, illegality, that is the illegality area, and then merge it together like this. And then I can get those kind of model, digital model, upper tooth and then lower edentulous mounted scan data. So after sending this data to the dental technician, so very easy to design. Oh, I, I remained only one <laughs> case. Anyway, <coughs> uh, this patient have this uh, congenital missing of the upper tooth. So she's, she's age is about 40 years old. So she's a beauty, beauty, beauty girl, beauty woman. But I'm so sad because she, she, she uh, doesn't have any teeth in upper tooth. So she ha ha had the aggressive, uh, no, no, so, and then shy, very shy. She didn't make the smile. So anyway, after, after insert the implant, and then I decided to do, uh, I decided to do uh, the early loading. So at that time, I applied the JV pork directory and then discussed with with the patient, the position of anterior teeth. So she didn't have, she didn't, she didn't, uh, any, didn't have any experience uh, having the anterior teeth. So uh, I needed so several, uh, several discussion and then merge it together using the, this patient, it did, I, I opened the exocad this pile. So uh, originally it's, it's, the figure was good, but <laughs> yes. Anyway, I merged. and then second digit, at the second digit, I insert customized abutment. This is bar type abutment. I developed those kind of systems. Uh, it's the uh, magic, talk, magic talk system in OSTEM, high OSTEM, and then uh, PhD solution in other groups. Anyway, I, I transfer my, my patent to this company. Anyway, at the second digit, the 
final abutment and then temporary uh, can get can, uh, I, I can I can I can get uh, these kind of two things. So I delivered the abutment and temporary like this. So these bar types uh, uh, bar types of uh, abutment can be made by the IDA company. So if the, the dentist insert implant uh, bar position, yes, on a strange position, yes, it's very difficult to make the binary processes. We can use uh, those kind of abutment. Yes, and then uh, this is the temporary and then adjust the, the occlusion and then uh, every month I, I checked, I checked the occlusion. Uh, this, pa this, this patient don't have, doesn't have, uh, don't have, don't have exact bite position because the, the condyle position is, was not correct. So uh, every month I adjusted the occlusion and then I, I followed about six months. And then I check. I I found I found the stable condyle position, and then copied it, copied temperature temporary. So because of the the implant location, I have I had to make the gum shape in this zirconia processes. So it's similar with the oral neck systems, oral neck system, but uh, the patient can detach. Uh, they can they can clean very simply. So. Uh, if, we have, uh, if, if I have uh, another chance, I will introduce about that. So anyway, uh, I adjusted the occlusion and then finished it. So totally, the patient, or the patient visit only three times, except the adjusting time. You know? so, uh, so anyway, reducing visiting time is the best to the patient. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. But uh, sometimes we have to reduce the visiting time to satisfy the patient and then increase the satisfaction of patient. So, uh, and our, pay, our satisfaction, for our satisfaction. So, so this is the in, interval. And then, this final processes. Although I, I, didn't, I didn't use the occlusal wax limb, but the patient shape is perfect. Because she chose, she chose this contour. It's not by me, by her. Yeah, so she is very satisfied and then she made the smile. So I was so happy. To finish it. Uh, there is no preparation of the intro scanner. So, and, and right imagine, we scanned upper and lower jaws. Before scanning, I attached the resin reference in here. So, uh, can you help me? Can you help me? Mixing the body. Help me, please. <laughs> Do you have parsley? Parsley. Do you have parsley? Parsley? The cheek of this mannequin was so sticky, I uh, so so steep, so I cut this this cheek like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's very oh heavy force. That's it. The gum is silicone too, so I have to. Apply the baserin. So, 그 다음에 그 regular body 하고 버티 미션 중 regular body 준비하시면 돼요. Regular body. Regular body가 거네 혹시? Regular body. 예. Bite or just regular? Uh, I, I need a bite and regular. Oh, okay. Light body. Light body. Regular body is uh, regular body is okay. Okay, one of them chat you share.
you know, this silicon material also uh, developed by me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I didn't I I didn't make the, the the material of the silicon. So I adjust the composition of silicon material. So it's very cheap, but I'm sorry, very cheap, but the the uh, ability is similar with the 3M. So anyway, the Korea Korean like this this is tray type. Okay, good. And mix together. And then this the patient have the dangerous uh, dangerous arch, upper and lower jaw. And then this mannequin is showing the mirror now. Okay, so open your by open your mouth and then <laughs> and then body and then oh, right this. And then put the silicon material in the crestal area to indicate the, the irregular, irregular area. And then position this. Upper plate, and then I checked the lip support, and then uh, it, there is there is less lip support. I move forward, and then and anyway I I have to adjust, and then that's it. Uh, and then the patient have decided that the appearance of the uh, anterior teeth. No, that's finish. That's all. Yeah. So anyway, this patient is changed to the. Uh, remain the teeth patient. He, 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 got, he got the anterior six, six teeth now. So I, I change it, this patient to the uh, partially dangerous patient, okay? Now, okay. Okay, waiting, waiting, the, waiting the, the uh, hardening of the silicone, and then I prepare the lower. Before applying this one, so I adjust the, simply this one, and then If you have enough experience, it, this procedure will be ended within 10 minutes. Yes, not, there, no, no, no need long times. Oh, let go. This. This. After And then, when you position the lower, there is no, no another consideration. You put simply like this, okay? Yes. And then, this this whole this whole uh, group is for packing the silicone material in the ringer side, not to movement. You can you can you can see the the wing shapes, okay? The central link center group is a uh, central arch is for retraction of the tongue posteriorly and the lateral group lateral arch is for putting your hand your pingle in this side so and then put the silicone material in the ringer side and then oh sorry a bite okay and then you can measure the, the vertical dimension and then CR taking so generally many patients many portion of patients don't don't drawing don't draw don't draw don't draw the Godias tracing so at that time, you, you, you have to use the bimanual, by manipulation method, by the dosun, and then, you go down bite it And if you make temporary denture, this this procedure will be simple, simpler than final final procedure. So after making the temporary denture, and then. Uh, you you can you can give the period for adaptation, for temporary denture, and then uh, through the wash impression. Do you know wash impression? Using the temporary denture, you can apply you can apply this silicone material and then bite. And and then you can uh, duplicate. Oh, I cannot see. That's all. That's pretty shit. No, so anyway, uh, to be honest, in our in our hospital, my hygienists are doing this procedure. Yeah, 
So I, I only check the proper vertical dimension and CR. So another, another procedure was, was done by the oral hygienist. So it's a very simple procedure. And then if you need the, the pop bowl, you have to remove these six teeth and then put the handle and then I will show you. Oh, it's very, oh, tension, it's a super tension. Oh, oh, okay, 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 and open, okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, do you know? Do you understand? Yes, yes. And then remove these six teeth, and then uh, you connect this handle and the pop system instead of six teeth. That's all. Okay. Okay, today's uh, I prepared lecture is finished. Do you have any question? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs>